Okay, hi you guys. I'm back. This is Nikki Pratt, the Watchman on the Wall. Listen, I, if you just saw um, the video that I just posted, um, a fulfilling fulfillment um, video concerning Facebook tragedies, social media, media tragedies, um, I also... Um, by the help of the Holy Spirit, need to warn about this as well. This is heavily on my heart. Women, young women, women in general, women of domestic violence. If you just saw the video, the the, the fulfilling fulfillment was kind of uh, from a twofold pro prophecy. Because the act of violence that happened to the girl in the social media ordeal was also a, a, from domestic violence, domestic situations. He did not have to kill her um, for something so senseless. Was what she did wrong? Of course. But no one should have to die by, for something so senseless on both ends. Nobody should have to lose their life for that. But this is the time and the hour that we're living in. It is very dark. Women, I want to alarm you and uh, let you know that as the days and these last days go by and as the time grows darker. If you are with somebody and they're not in the Lord, if they're hitting and beating you, they're definitely not in the Lord. Don't think that you can change them. I'm speaking from experience. I'm a victim of domestic violence. I made it out by the grace of God. Now let me finish telling you. This means that whatever is dark in that person, because right now it's the sheep versus the goats and the wheat with the tares. If you're wheat and you're with a tare, you're in some trouble. Okay? Because Whatever is dark in them is going to be made manifest and it's going to wax great. Okay? Don't let yourself fall victim as, well, I have children by him or, uh, you know, I want my future children to have the same daddy. You're, although, who wouldn't want that? But let's be real. And very sensible. Not only you need to think about yourself and your children. Because as for experience, my mom also got beat. Okay? And she stayed with my dad until she finally wised up. What happens with the children? They come out either, if it's a boy, they beat their wives. If it's a girl, like I was, I got beat. You, it's like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. And you need to get out. I've been there. I know it may seem like, oh, it's easy for you to say, trust me, I know it's hard because it's bondage. I was, it was like I was in bondage. I didn't know how to get out. But, honey, at that time, I wasn't praying either. And I wasn't no, the, uh, I may say a little prayer here and now and then, but I wasn't who I was, who I am now. I was not that person then. Okay? You pray. You seek the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of you are in relationships with these crazy fools that you need to not even be in anyway. You're shacking. Which shouldn't be anyway. The Lord is not 
going to bless mess. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Love doesn't hurt. If the, a man truly loves you, he is not going to hurt you nor your children. If he's hurting you and not the children, he's still hurting the children. Mentally, you need to get out. Get out before you find yourself a victim. I don't want to be on here reading one of these stories about you. A lot of people, a lot of my subscribers uh, I've talked to, I've warned, and, you know, they told me their situations. And, you know, some listen and leave, some don't. When you step out on faith and put your foot forward, the Lord is going to help you, especially if you're trying to do right and you know you're living in sin from get-go. You know you're shacking. You know it's not right. You know you're in a position that you shouldn't be anyway, and you're trying to, you trying to do right. The Lord is going to help you. Pray, okay? Get out. Do not stay in that mess because... This is my conviction on this, that if the Lord is sep what he's, he's separating for a reason, the light versus what is dark, okay? If you you still with that dark person and everything that is in him going to be worse, guess who he's coming for? Light. Darkness hate light. Especially if you're trying to live for the Lord. you watching this channel. you got to be trying to live for the Lord. I'm speaking from experience. And I can't <laughs> reiterate this any stronger. Because this is what I'm feeling right now. This is a warning. Leave. Get your hat, your coat, and leave, so to speak. Get your children. Call up some friends. Do what you got to do. Call the local authority. Call some. Call somebody. Call a um, domestic hotline. They will be able to help you and delegate you to get somewhere safe. Do not stay with these men because guess what? If you're number one living in sin and you're shacking with him and he happens, God forbid, something happens to you, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? That's why this is so serious. This is the ninth hour. This is no time to play. This is the time to make waves. This is the time to leave. This is a warning, a reiterated warning because I've always, I've already, by the help of the um, Holy Spirit and um, a, a, a dream that I was given, have put up, a, have put up a warning video to all women in domestic violence. It's nine minutes in. Um, and I know there are some men that is in this situation. So if you're a man and uh, this is happening to you, leave. That is not love. Leave. If you're married, don't be fooled by the devil. Don't be fooled about f with false teachings that says um, you have to Stay in a marriage because you are married to him. That is a lie from the pits of hell. God, the Lord has came to set those captives, meaning in bondage and liberty, free. He wouldn't want us to be beat. Come on, you guys. That is not the character of God. 
Now, I can't go into details about this marriage thing, but I recently did videos about it. It's probably maybe three months ago, three or four months ago. Just kind of um, pull it up. If I remember, maybe I'll attach to the videos regarding marriage. I, I think it's titled, Would the Lord Tell You, if you're married, uh, something like that, Would the Lord Tell You to Leave? Yes, he will, because he's told me that. Yes, he will, even in a marriage, because it wasn't ordained by him. It, he didn't have the blessings. And there's a scripture that says, um, oh, help me remember. Um, oh, I can't think of it now. What is it? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatsoever the Lord put together, and I'm paraphrasing this, what God, okay, what God has put together, let no man put asunder. What God had put together. What's the key word in it? What God had put together. So therefore, that means that there are some marriages that God has not put together, that God does not have his blessings on. That's what that means. So would the Lord tell you to leave? Yes. Because not only that that marriage is not blessed, that marriage is in disobedience. That is not who the Lord has for you. That is what that means. That is good right there. And the videos regarding it is even better. That's not boasting. I'm just saying it was so much packed revelation that I got out of it doing those series of videos because there, I was stuck in a marriage behind misinterpretation of scripture, behind what I had been taught, and behind what I even read myself and misinterpreted. So I can't stress this any more than I have. I'm warning you women, and even some men if you're in this situation, you in a bad relationship, this guy beats you every time he gets drunk, every time he feel like it, every time you don't do what he say. Uh, it's time to leave. You don't want to be caught up. You don't want to be hurt at the hit. He's not worth losing your soul. Let me say that. He's not worth losing your soul. And, 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 Lord, how can I say this? And for it to be still clean. Because, see, some women get a little silly. This ain't worth his stem on the apple. Clean it up. I don't care how good it is. I don't care how good he look. This is not worth his stem on the apple. Now that's as clean as I can get. It ain't worth that. You were looking when you found him. Notice I said you were looking when you found him. When we operate by what the Bible says, the Bible says, He that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. He, which means he should have been looking for you, not you. You know how, you, you know, y'all let all this out and, and showing everything and you attract that kind of stuff. You know, you, you, you got all your... Your, your candy, un, un, uh, unwrapped, it's 1444, uh, uh, you know, like, you know, yeah, you get the picture, you get the picture, so, 
um, please heed the warning. I love you guys. I have some very important videos to do tonight. There's so many videos that I have to do. And um, the one I'm about to do tonight, from this night going forward, don't miss a video. Okay? Love you guys. Thanks.